Okay, let's try this again. All right. thing at NAM, Charvel was pushing their line, new line of throwback guitars, which are star bodies. This is a Charvel star body. I bought it in 1980 for 80 bucks. It's solid maple, one piece of wood. It was carved out for two humbuckers, obviously. Uh, just the, the bridge where the strings go through. They said that was for tone, and then, you know, it's two little holes and one for toggle. So I have one volume. I have a toggle switch, which is just for there, and a kill. I've always had a mini kill, because I'm like, I always had my Marshall blazing, you know, on stage, just on the verge, because I wanted that sound, that Van Halen-ish, Mick Mars sound. So it was always on the verge of just being completely out of control so I needed a kill switch I didn't want to turn the volume down all the time I just want to kill it because there's a certain a few songs or you know still the damn thing no echoes either back then so I so I got this I got this neck it's 78 strat you can see it there's Michael D, you can see on the back, there's just plain old Fender friggin' uh, tuners, it doesn't matter. That's one of the first original Kaler locking locker, you know, string locking. It's not a locking nut because they figured the nut, you got to kind of, you know, screw with the nut so the strings will slide a little bit, but it's locked here. That's to give you the warm sound. You're taking away all that warmth with the friggin' way that, uh, there was a lot of things with, uh, Floyd Rose that, you know, whatever. <laughs> you gotta realize, at the time, no one knew, you know, okay, Eddie's using a Floyd Rose, but so what? What is this? Because this seems like a better design. It really is a better design. Kaler, the guy Kaler, put this one on. This is one of the first ones. I had it put on in 83, I think. And uh, the only person I knew that had it was my guitar teacher and, and somebody else. And I'm like, yeah, I'll do it. Because I played my guitar teacher. He had a white star, too. Charvel, blah, blah, blah. Craig Turner. And uh, so, boom. And I used to have to put little uh, wire insulation right here. That's what the guy, Kaler, told me to do. Because they hadn't figured out, this is where all the strings had always snap. Watch it happen tonight. These strings are like 20 years old. <laughs> so, let's just see what happens. I took the Marshall out, and I put it in a little line 6. It might overpower. I don't know what this is going to sound like. This might sound like complete balls. So, let's find out. Uh, I don't know really what to do. Oh, you know, Ace Freely is totally right. Gene, Gene and Paul are a-holes. If you read that uh, thing in Guitar World, they're dicks. They should not talk about Ace like that. If it wasn't for Ace and Peter, they would have never made it. It was the chemistry of those four idiots that made Kiss huge. They are not as huge as they used to be. With the reunion tour, when I saw them in 77, 78, it was insane how big they were. And then in 96, 97, it was back to that insanity. We were just all older and had a lot more money. Now, the forum is still not sold out. And I'm going to see them on the 18th of February. That's a couple weeks. 
they still got a lot of tickets on sale. So they're full of crap if they're saying, oh, yeah, we're tickets are going like crazy. No, they're not. They're also playing up in Fresno at the Save Mart Center that holds like 1,200 people, and they can't even fill that. And this, t and they have seats there for 36 bucks. 36 bucks. The cheapest one at the Forum was 100 bucks. Now all of them are cut, just like I knew it happened. But where I'm going to be sitting, the seat stays the same because I'm going to be in the disabled section. Because my friend wanted me to use my plaque so we could get in there and blah, blah, blah. Whatever. I, I am, you know, I got nerve damage. I can walk. I can, you know, do everything. I, you know, work part-time. Like I said, I'm semi-retired. There's, but there's, there's, you know, issues. So I get to sit in that section. I won't do it if, like, it's totally selling out. But I said, how many seats do you got in that section by Gene? They said, well, there's uh, 12 available seats. We have 10, 12 normally available. There's only two sold. <laughs> I'm like, okay. So I took, you know, one, and it's still only three people or three disabled with their, whoever they're coming with. Whatever. So I'm going to go see it. I got suckered in, but, you know, I'll boo all the way through shock me because I think what they should do if fake freely is gonna sing shock me have him electrocuted at the end of the damn thing instead of the guitar smoke just electrocute fake fear freely he's done I don't like him he turned into a dick and he looks like crap he puts the makeup on like a kid he sucks he's a decent guitar player but he was playing in cold gin the same time my band blizzard the Randy tribute was playing. We got set up together a lot, so I got I talked to him a lot. Like, dude, you got to suck in your cheeks and you know put you know your knees together, all those A stuff, and he did it. I never knew he'd actually be in Kiss, replacing Ace. Oh, for crap ass sakes! If anything, the Gene Simmons guy, Papadakalakilis or whatever his name is, holy crap! He should be replacing Gene right now. Because he is a better Gene than Gene has been since the 70s, really. But, there you go. You got two stupid egos, two old ladies, two old Jewish women going out there for their three-year farewell tour. A farewell tour is like a year. And then get out of here. Go away. Been waiting for this for years. You know, you can't top that reunion. Anyway, so that's that. Playing a new amp. Let's see what it sounds like. Let's start off with a little drum beat. Get warmed up for whatever and uh, go from there. How's that? Yeah. Anyways, this is the original star. This is the best looking star. The ones with the lightning bolt. No, those look stupid and dated. This is a timeless look to me blood and bullet holes yeah it's great it's great and it's timeless you see the back it's a bolt-on my buddy uh mike lippy put his little thing he took the charvel one off and threw it away but you know that was in the eight i didn't think well whatever who cares i don't care who worked on the guitar as long as they did a good job so i had like three different people i didn't go running down to charvel all the time but I did get endorsed by him for a short time. Jackson, actually, not Charvel. And uh, then when the switch over to Fender, it just kind of... Because I'm not really doing anything. And uh, But they still give me free stuff. And they still do stuff for me, so I can't really bitch. All right. There you go. And, uh, you know, keep commenting on the shark guitar. Because I think it's a big deal. What they're putting out is a pile of junk. The more I think about it, all they did is they're putting on the damn Kramer neck. That looks ugly. That doesn't look cool and, and like the Explorer. Eh, whatever. It's stupid. It's, it's, it's a ripoff. I wouldn't do it. I would do what I did. Buy, pick up a friggin' Karina 1958 uh, Epiphone 
explore or reissue with Karina Wood and have someone build it or build it yourself and leave the damn turnbuckles out. Or if you want, buy the turnbuckles and then have you can put them in for pictures and then take them out when you play. Or figure out what they did. But what they did doesn't really work because they wouldn't play it. They would not play theirs. I didn't really push too much, but a lot of people were like very, they wanted to see that. They could give a crap about the new Wolf Gang coming out or the new colors of the new Wolf Gang crap or the pickups. They didn't give a crap. They wanted to see the shark and they had it hidden. It's weird. It's all, it's all, eh. Mine is the best. Mine sounds better than all of them.